As an entrepreneur for over 15 years now, I've spent so much time and money trying to find the right CRM for our business. So hopefully in this video I can save you some time and pain by outlining five CRMs that I think are suitable for small business. Hey guys, Alan Brannigan here from Founder Cave and before we get started I just want to outline a little caveat here and that this video is first of all for starting um, or early stage businesses so we're not going to cover the very expensive Salesforce or Microsoft dynamic type CRMs where you need thousands of dollars of integration fees. This is really uh, low cost, very easy to implement type CRMs for a business that's either very small or just starting out. Secondly, I've only been involved in businesses that sell B2B as opposed to B2C. So I'm reviewing these CRMs in the context of having tens of clients as opposed to hundreds or thousands of clients. So this is really a review for early stage businesses with a sub hundred client base. Now guys, if we're just meeting for the first time, I'm Alan Brennigan here at Founder Cave. Founder Cave is a forum for founders and entrepreneurs to share ideas and support one another on their journey. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please hit the like button and the subscribe button below. And if this is useful for you, by all means, uh, please post some comments. If they're not useful, post comments as well. And so let's get into it. Coming in at number five, one of the first CRM tools I really ever used was Pipedrive. Now Pipedrive is a web-based CRM tool. Its strength, in my opinion, is a very simple, lovely to look at, well thought out, intuitive pipeline view. And very simple drag and drop, very clear on what all team members' tasks are and what you need to do to move a deal forward down the pipeline. Pipedrive starts out at around $12.50 for its basic or silver membership. Provides a lot of functionality for that. That's per user, by the way, so good for small teams. Uh, in the end, for us, we just kind of outgrew the tool. It's great for starting out, but we found it was a little limited in functionality in terms of integrations and what we wanted to do as we grew, and so we moved on. But as an early stage tool, uh, I really recommend it, especially if you're really focused on the pipeline, you've got a sales team that just really wants to crank through what they're gonna do to get the deal over the line, this is a great tool for you. Coming in at number four is Street CRM. Now this tool is great if you're a solo trader or you're a Google fanatic. This one is totally designed around uh, integrating with Gmail and the G Suite, so Google Drive, Google Docs, etc. And you can actually get a free version for a personal account. So if you're a sole trader, a freelancer, or somebody just starting out, this is really a great tool for you. However, it really is for the, the Google enthusiasts. So if you're using Gmail for your business and you're using all of the Google tools, then this one's for you. You can upgrade, of course, to professional or enterprise plans, anywhere from $49 to $99 per month per user. And, and so if your team is really integrated with Google, then this is one for you. In the end, we went with Microsoft 365 so this really wasn't uh, a tool for us but nonetheless uh, again especially if you're a sole trader or a freelancer this is a fantastic tool for you to get started and it's free. Coming in at number three is Excello. Now this tool I loved I absolutely loved Excello I kind of regret we're still not using it it's one of the best service operations automation tools out there so if you're in the service industry I would highly recommend you look at this one. Pricing plans start from around $34 per month per user so it's a little on the high side but it is packed full of functionality. What I love most about this for our business is it had a really great stage gate checkoff system so if you wanted to put some some gates in place and uh, some checks and balances to move a deal down a pipeline whether it was you had to have a, a memorandum of understanding or a purchase order in order to move the deal forward and a more resources to it. This was fantastic. You could set it up so that your salespeople couldn't just push a deal through without the product management team and the engineering team and everyone else uh, making sure that they had the right information, all of the things that required to get the deal over the line, and that we weren't over allocating resource disproportional to the deal size. Like I say, I kind of regret that we're still not using this. Uh, two reasons we're not using it now. The first one was the email integration wasn't great. And I found that it was pulling in emails from all sorts of accounts and I had this complicated setup where um, sales staff were getting access to emails from my board of directors and it was just weird and look this was two years ago so uh, maybe Excello has fixed it now but that was a real problem for us. The other reason was more and more we had a lot more marketing requirements and Excello in my view doesn't really support that so well so we eventually found a tool that catered to our marketing requirements as much as our sales requirements. And that leads me on to number two. Coming in at number two is HubSpot CRM, which I think is a fantastic product. It's the one we currently use, and we're using the free version. It covers our marketing requirements and our sales requirements. It's got the great pipeline view that Pipedrive had. In fact, 
it's possibly even better, so I love that. It's really easy to allocate tasks. Our team loves it. It's, you know, you'll find that when you're having a CRM tool in place, if your team doesn't adopt it and use it, then it's dead in the water. This one, HubSpot, they all like it. It's really easy to share information around. And I guess most importantly, we chose it because we felt it was the platform we could grow with that didn't involve the complicated integrations like a Salesforce or a Microsoft Dynamics. Now on that though, do be warned, there is a big price hike between free and when you start to use some of their hub plans. You know, you're talking about possibly $400 to $800 per month depending on what your requirements are. So there is a big jump there and I am aware of that. At this stage, I'm not prepared to make that jump. I recognize we're gonna to need to do it at some point. And I will say from what I've seen and from others I've spoken to, they do deliver and they do feel it's value for money. Uh, again, we're just not quite there yet. What I will say though is HubSpot is fantastic at providing content for you. So anything that you need to learn, just general thought leadership type papers, they're brilliant at it. Their customer service is fantastic. And like I say, it's free and very functional for the free version. So I'd really recommend you check this one out. It's, it's the one I think we're gonna grow with and obviously we'll take that jump, but I, I think this is the one that we'll continue with in the future. Okay, now what is the number one CRM that I'd recommend for a small business just starting out with less than 100 clients? Wait for it, drum roll please. Yes, spreadsheets. No joke, if you're just starting out, more often than not, uh, your time and your money are very precious resources to you. So I would just start with something that you're already using most likely, whether it's pages from Apple or Microsoft Excel. You know, that combined with a task list and email, can get the job done. You know, you can do your charting, you can do all your spreadsheets, and, and look, there's loads of templates out there, even for project management tools, you know, so CRM right through to project management. I'll put some of the links below, so make sure you check those out. I guess my point here, guys, is don't go crazy with tools, no matter whether it's CRM or any other tool. Wait until you've got a real pain point before you go and choose one. Uh, more often than not, like a Microsoft 365 or the Apple equivalent will, will suffice, and you know, don't spend money unnecessarily. Don't spend time reviewing things un unnecessarily. The other tools are fantastic and they will provide real value as you grow. But you know, if you're a small business and you're not growing very fast or you know, you're just ticking along, spreadsheets are just fine. And like I say, there's plenty of good templates out there. So guys, I hope that was useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you'd like to see more of this comment delivered on a regular basis, then please hit the subscribe button. You can hit the little notification bell too, so you'll be notified every time we post a video. So that's it guys, I wish you well on your journey and we'll see you next time.